Well, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. This video, I'm going to go into the JDXI Manager again, and this time I'm actually going to show you a little bit about sound editing and actually crafting your own sounds, making them your own. And I think in this day and age, that's actually really important. Anyone can get a patch and, and use it, and then that means anyone else can get that patch and use it, and then all of a sudden, people's music sound the same. So we're going to do the drums in this particular video. Let's have a look at the synth itself. If you actually go into the menu here and have a look at tone edit, and you'll see it's just huge. There's so many things you can edit. So it would be an absolute nightmare. Well, not a nightmare, but it would be very time consuming editing through the synth. So let's have a look at the screen and it's all laid out in front of us. All of those menu options are now there in front of us on the screen and that actually makes it really really good. What I also suggest you do when you're playing with this for the first time is go and get yourself a downloaded copy of the JDXI parameter guide from the Roland website and then you can have a look at what some of these acronyms mean. I guess you, part, you might know them already but I didn't. For example I didn't know what FXM which is here. I didn't know what that stood for. And in fact, I didn't even know what it did. In fact, I didn't even know the synth had it. And I'm sure there's probably sounds on here that it has got that feature turned on. Anyway, what it does is it does this thing called frequency cross modulation. And it applies this modulation to any of the waveforms that are currently selected. So I've got this uh, feature turned on at the moment with a 808 kick sound and you can hear it kind of sounds metallic now if we change the color to the higher number it will sound kind of grainy or bit crushed and the more we adjust that depth knob the more it sounds so we can pretty cool what else this can do is it's it's just massive so it's got a whole bunch of other features in here which we'll quickly go over but it's going to take a really big long video to go over them in depth but let's just have a look at this coarse tune for example if I adjust this coarse tune it will get to a point where this magic happens hear that so it's up really high here and then almost like a reverse section so 25 it works 24 23 it doesn't so there you go 24 with that metallic -y sound and then right down the bottom of the course tune That could be quite a cool sounding kick. Still has a bit of a thump to it, doesn't it? Let's add a bit of an effect to that. Let's add some uh, delay. So you can see already a boring old 808, well some people would argue with that, I should, I should be careful what I say. An 808 sound, kick drum can now sound. Very cool. What about, like, what else can this do? Well, this it's got heaps of filters, you've got your standard low pass filter, it's got a band pass filter, a high pass filter, a packaged filter, it's got and two other types of uh, low pass filters so you can play around with different filter sounds the um, 
The amplifier has a whole bunch of velocity uh, things and you can pan sounds. And that's important, like you might not want that sound to be right in the middle. You might want it to be over to the left or over to the right. So you can also randomize where that pans, so it just sort of pops all over the place, which is actually really cool. You can control the effects, and also there's also pitch, filter, and amplify envelopes here. So you've got your standard ADSR, although it's actually not labeled like that. So anyway, you work it out. So just quickly moving on, we're going to also pl play with another sound. Now, notice across the top you've got all those tabs. Drum part on the JDXI has heaps of sounds. And they don't actually have to be drum sounds. You can actually load whatever you want. In fact, each one of these sounds can have up to four different partials. So you can have a kick there, which I've modified. And I'm going to a little snippy sort of sound now. I'm going to turn that on. All right, and I think that's a little bit loud. So I'll just pop that down a bit. So it's kind of got a rattly sound to it now. And let's put a little snarey sort of sound on. So we'll enable that. And it's a bit loud again. I really like this FXM feature, it's really cool. And on the fourth one, let's over on the right hand side, let's put a 626 hi hat sound. That's cool. And that's just your kick drum. So we can sort of just some really, really cool, fun things to do there. And obviously it can be all programmed and you can do that with MIDI. All right, hit sounds are pretty cool. So I've pre-programmed this one, listen to this. <laughs> that is so cool. And all that is, is the string hit sound here. And what I've done is I've, uh, I've tuned it right down. And we've got all of that FXM going on it. So let's try if we... And because I've got the course tune just over that 24, it'll reverse the sound. If I pop it down to 22, Let's get it back to one, sorry. It's just that, that sort of synthy string sound. So it sounds completely different. And now we've got a sound. Wow, it's even like crazier. Let's put some reverb on that. Let's try this with our... This is so cool. And then you could put some filter on that and ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you just... Imagine all the coolness you could do with this. In fact, this sound here, we could put some
little bit of flange. A little bit of distortion. Whoa, that's crazy. A bit of fuzz. Wow, and that's just nutting around with this JDXI drums editor. So guys, it's just a small taste. There's a whole bunch of stuff on that screen there that you could just go nuts over with. Remember that you've got all those partials for each one of those drum sounds that you could just go crazy, crazy, crazy. Like what I did with the bass drum, I had the bass drum itself with an 808 kick, then I had a group snap, and I had a little snare, and I also had a little high uh, open a hi hat on that, and that was making that that sort of kick sound for me. And that hit was just one sound, and I just mangled it. So, Soundcraft away. Um, I'll be back with you soon with the next one, and we'll we'll look at the other parts to edit. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this stuff. It lets me know that I'm doing my job right. And also, please leave a comment, and I'd love it if you could share the video as well with your friends. Cheers, mate. See you later.